for a time. The gentleman from California is recognized. Mr. Speaker, at this time, I'd like to yield one minute to my very good friend who serves on the Judiciary Committee and the House Oversight and Reform Committee, the gentlewoman from Missouri, uh, one minute for, uh, uh, to the gentlewoman from Missouri, Ms. Bush. Uh, two, two minutes. Gentle, gentlewoman from Missouri is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and thank you, Chairman Takano, for your leadership on this historic legislation. St. Louis and I rise today in support of H.R. 3967, the Honoring Our Pact Act, to expand health care to expand healthcare, research, and resources for our veterans who are far too often exposed to toxic substances, both around the world and at home in St. Louis. And this means so much to me as a nurse. I see it all the time. I am proud to put forward four critical amendments to this legislation to help expand racial equity and study the military's environmental impact through rigorous Department of Veterans Affairs research initiatives. My first two amendments ensure that VA research studies include a broader array of demographic information, including race, ethnicity, and disability status in gathering information on the impacts of toxic exposure. Our third, our third vital amendment ensures the VA will extend reviews of known cases of toxic exposure to military sites abroad. The Department of Defense needs to provide concrete data about the waste and pollution we are leaving in the nearly 750 military bases in over 80 countries around the world. Finally, our last amendment adds a new study to this bill to measure the harmful health consequences of Manhattan Project waste on our veterans and their families in St. Louis. If you're from North St. Louis, there is a good chance that at some point in your life, you have been exposed to toxic milita military waste like I have. From Westlake Landfill to Coldwater Creek, toxic military nuclear waste has been dumped in our communities, leading to rare cancers and birth defects. Our veterans worked with this waste and are still living with it. This study is just one step we're taking to care for their health and safety. I look forward to voting in support of, honoring, of the Honoring Our Pact Act and advancing these critical amendments that will help us to save lives. Thank you, and I yield back. Gentlewoman yields back. The gentleman from California reserves.